Hey, fam. Thank y'all so much for being here with me. So, in it's tapping in. Y'all already know who and what it is. So, let's just go and get into this. Because, fam, I feel like y'all are about to make a, a major choice here. And that is to leave behind someone or something that you really do love. It's like you never thought that you would have to leave whatever or whomever this is behind. But it's like now you see, yeah, Eight of Cups, y'all walking away from something. But it's like now you see something about this place or this person. And it no longer... um it no longer meshes with your energy. Meshes, not messes, meshes. It no longer meshes with your energy. Some of y'all, this has something to do with a person and you all in your head about it. This person is in and out of your life. Yeah, you can't make it up. Knight of Wands, but, uh, pff, shit, Knight of Cups. Person come in for sex, love bum, you come in for sex and then before you know it, they're gone again. You can't make it up. Yeah, so a lot of y'all are in y'all head about this player type energy. Like, when is he going to settle down with me? Is he going to settle down with me? Is he dealing with other people? Exactly, three of pentacles. Is he working with other people? Is that why he left? Like, why? what are they going? What are they doing? Things like that. Yeah, y'all want to hear something from this person. Y'all want to know the truth. It's like message. Like, somebody here is like, don't walk away from me when I'm trying to talk to you. I don't know what is going on here. Yeah, King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. This could even be somebody wanting to talk to y'all that y'all not in communication with. Yeah, you could be a little bit upset with this person. It's like right now, I feel like you just like, you keep a communication back from this person because if you were to say something, you might say something you can't take back. It's another, what is going on with these cards being in a different deck, y'all? I just went through that. I found one of these cards in this deck. And now I'm finding one of these cards in this deck. What is this? Yeah, Ace of Wands, New Beginning. This card ain't supposed to be in this deck, but I'm going to leave it flipped over. But I do feel like y'all going off on to y'all own device. Yes, yeah, a choice here. Yeah, this, I'm telling you, this could be a lover, a friend, family members, whatever. Yeah, I feel like you you don't really even go around these people as much. Either way it goes. It's like a distant relationship here. Yeah, two of pentacles. Shit is up in the air. It's like you have a lot of love for these people, but at the same time, the energies don't match anymore. It's like these people resonate more with who you used to be uh, as opposed to who you are now. Somebody here could even want to come out the closet like a... Um, you want to dress like a female, or you want to dress like a male, and it's like opposing energies when it comes to that. You want some people around you that's going to support you no matter what it is you do. I feel like a lot of y'all are waiting on people that's like part of your soul tribe to actually come in. But see, the thing is, as long as this karmic energy is around you, which is what I feel like y'all are noticing, as long as this karmic energy is around you, you can't, the, the people that are meant for you don't have a place, they can't come in. So I feel like, yeah, y'all leaving a lot of shit out in the cold. Some of y'all are tired of arguing with somebody over something. Could be money. Yeah, nine of pentacles. I feel like a lot of y'all are leaving somebody or something behind. Y'all leaving all this unstable arguing, you know, conflict, mind games, things like that out in the cold, whether it be family, friends, or a loved one. Yeah, because I feel like y'all tired of going through this. Y'all tired of going through this. You tried and tried so many times to make things right with whomever this is, but it always ends up in the same spot. It feels like somebody just do not care what the hell they put somebody through, and that's why somebody's moving on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's the truth. It's like somebody that you're close to really broke your heart in some kind of way. And it's like now you don't have a choice but to move away from these people. You've been trying to separate you from this person for all these, these people, place, whatever it is for a long time. But it's like you love these people so much, you want to keep, keep giving to them, and it's just like in return, they just kept hurting you. Yeah, so look, it's time to go. Ace of Wands. It's time for something new. We got the Ace of Wands and with the card that wasn't even supposed to be in his deck, so we got the Ace of Wands twice. Definitely time for a new beginning. But a lot of y'all are keeping y'all stuck or you were like blocking out this new beginning because hopefully things will get better. Hopefully this, hopefully that. Yeah, Ace of Cups. Hopefully this, hopefully that. Hopefully things will be renewed. 
But I feel like now y'all just like, okay, look, I'm tired of all the confusion. I'm just going to wait on something new. Yeah. Like I said, your intuition is your best friend right now. I'm telling you, something been telling y'all a long time ago. Like your intuition pop, but it's just like something about it. Y'all have like, y'all are real loyal type people. And so it's like, you know, you're not used to giving up on people. No matter how hard it gets, no matter how many times this person or whatever make you cry, no matter whatever, you was willing to carry that in order to keep whatever this is together. Something about this feels like a family. But it's like now I feel like that's coming to an end. Yeah, Sagittarius energy here. Somebody right, somebody here could be drinking their problems away as well. Yeah, now we got the Queen of Swords. I feel like a lot of y'all had to step into this energy or you're going to have to with these people to show them that you mean business and quit playing with you. Like real shit, I feel like the time for playing on your top is over. Somebody's spirit God also, I mean, spirit animal could be an eagle or an owl. Yeah, but somebody just like, look, your time is up. You holding me back. I got to move forward. Move. Yeah, look, king of wands and the queen of swords. <laughs> so maybe y'all had to step into your, your queen of swords energy with your masculine. Or a lot of y'all are y'all queen of swords and you on the verge of stepping into a masculine energy here. But either way it go, y'all feel like y'all finna show somebody you mean business and they better quit playing with you. Yeah, Three of Pentacles. A lot of this is somebody y'all work with. <laughs> these people could be older than you. Hell, this could be people in your family. You could have looked up to these people at one point or another. But now I feel like, look, uh-uh, it's over. Because it's like you were always there for them, but nobody was there to catch you when you fell. Yeah, Nine of Wands. I'm, I'm hearing the Wounded Warrior. So a lot of y'all just took shit and took shit and kept going. Yeah, uh, King of Pentacles and then the Four of Pentacles. Some of y'all, this is a masculine that y'all was absolutely refusing to give up on. Like y'all was holding on to this person for whatever reason. It's like this person was, they held a lot of value in your life. Some of y'all just could not see y'all selves without this person. Let's see what this is. It done flew on the flow chair. We not going to take it because I keep spinning it. Oh, this did. Yeah, I feel like a lot of y'all are like, y'all, I don't want to say y'all scared, but it's like a part of y'all that's fearful of letting this person go. Yeah, and then we got the Knight of Swords and the Ten of Wands. That's what I'm saying. No matter if this person hurt you, pissed you off, whatever, it was still like, okay, I'm not ready to give up on this. Somebody want just take the brunt of all this and keep going. Somebody not being fair with you about money. Mm. Yeah, this could be a person who got a little bit of change, but got a little ego on them too. That's why they act like this. But for the most part, it's just feeling like, I feel like you just tired. You're tired. Somebody here could be dealing with a health concern as well. With that nine of one, somebody masculine. Hmm. I'm hearing somebody holding back information from y'all. This could have something to do with their with their health. Oh, that hit me in my face. Yeah, Virgo energy with the Hermit card. See, some of y'all holding on to a Virgo. Others of y'all, uh, a Virgo is holding on to y'all or take the energy how it resonates. But yeah, Spirit is saying it's time to release this person. Yeah, because this, this too, it's like a burden now. Yeah, you might love this person, but it's, it's something real burdensome here. I feel like finance is playing a big factor in this situation as well. Yeah, but I also do think feel like you're doing some type of introspection as well to figure out why you keep entertaining this person or these type of people or something like that. Hmm. Some of y'all fighting y'all self for this person. Yeah, because you know you want something more. You know you want something better. 
something new that more like more on your level. But at the same time, it feels like a loyalty something to this person. Yeah, and then we got the Empress. Y'all not out here trying to hurt nobody. But you don't want nobody to hurt you either. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And then we got the Five of Cups and then the Queen of Pentacles. So we got the King and the Queen of Pentacles out here. Some of y'all could have owned a business together or somebody out here is a business owner. But somebody here, they're re they're re they regret something that they did. Holy Spirit, what's the Two of Swords? Holy Spirit, can you tell us more about this Two of Swords, please, for fam? Holy Spirit, why is the Two of Swords here? Why is this person the Two of Swords? What do they regret? Yeah, somebody here, they hear something from you, and then they regretting it. Hmm. But I also feel like this same person is somebody that you have... You have a long, you like got a long history with this person. Y'all been knowing each other for a very, very long time. Somebody name could be Robert or last night Roberts or something like that. Yeah, now we got the page of swords. This is weird because this person sits around and think about you a lot. Oh. Yeah, they think about you a lot because it's like this person can feel you pulling your energy away from them. I dropped anything else now. This person can feel you pulling your energy away from them, fam. It's like your focus has completely shifted. On the cool, it feel like y'all, you kind of like, I'm not going to say you want to, it's like you want issues with this person because I know this person don't want no issues with fam. But either way it go, it feel like, like I said earlier, opposing energy, light and dark. Somebody here remember how you were in the past and now you done bossed up. Somebody here is, they, somebody said something about you, fam. I don't know what it is, but it feels like somebody said something about you, but now they regretting it. Because this person never expected you to become queen of pentacles. Yeah, this could be your divine counterpart with that king of pentacles over there, but somebody said something about you. And it's all because this person was hurt. And then whatever it is they saying, they kept it going. It's just going and going. So if it, if this person lied on you about something, even if they know it's not the truth, which I know they know it's not the truth because they made the shit up, this person is just keeping this lie going and going and going because something is hurting. It's possibly the fact that you're, you're moving away. But see, it feels like this person started saying stuff about you even before you started moving away from them. Exactly five of pentacles. This person is now feeling left out in the cold. Somebody here remember when you were all in your feelings about them. Yeah, six of pentacles in the reverse. Now it's like you don't you don't want to you don't want to give to this person at all. See, this person is remembering how giving and how giving and protective of them you were in the past. Now, but see, six of ones, you don't want to give this person nothing. You going off on your own, and you're going to be very victorious in doing so. But now that you're moving away, you got this person undivided attention. But I don't even feel like you want it. Hmm. Something here could have been like a really petty argument as well. I'm talking about super petty. This could have been like somebody don't want the kids to have ice cream or something. And somebody gave the kid ice cream. And now all of a sudden y'all at each other throats because of ice cream. It's just like a lot of pettiness going on in this situation. And I feel like it's been going on for a long time. A lot of like cutthroat conversation, you know, like uh, back and forth, but it's not in a good way. And that's why this needed to come to an end. Even though somebody didn't want it to or does not want it to or whatever the case might be. But yeah, it's for your, it's for your greater good, fam. The Wheel of Fortune. Six of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. Once you stop giving to this situation or this person, this, whatever it is, it get better. Oh, shit. Nine of Cups right behind it. It get a lot better for you. 
Some of y'all were supporting somebody possibly financially. And watch how much money you're able to save once you stop once you stop giving to this person. Somebody here, you, I don't know if this is about winning a contest or something. You know how kids go sell stuff. I don't know. Somebody had that kid always trying to come sell you something. And you like want to say no, but you don't want to cause no issues or something. So you just buy the shit anyway. I feel like a lot of y'all are not doing that anymore. It's about walking in your truth and standing up for yourselves now. Like doing whatever it is that makes you happy. Yeah, the emperor, Aries energy. Like I said, a lot of y'all bossing up. Y'all taking control. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. This is your life to live. This is your destiny. You writing this story. I mean, even though it's already been written, you just, you know what I'm saying, fam. Yeah, Three of Cups. The Queen of Cups and the Three of Cups. I feel like coming up here soon, a lot of y'all are going to be bossing up. If there was any type of uh, disconnect between you and family members or other friends that you had, you know, maybe you fell out with other people by trying to put this person first or something like that. I feel like those uh, relationships are going to be mended here coming up soon. But I do feel like no matter, you know, like you're, you're distancing yourself from someone. But you still love this person. It's not like you hate this person or you look at this person bad or nothing like that. It's just like some some things this person do, they're really fucked up. And with the hurry energy here, this person knows some of the things that they do is fucked up. Yeah, somebody here, they felt, look, somebody here is more interested in like partying and having a good time. And I feel, yeah, this person, they engage in a lot of toxic behavior and that's not what you own now somebody right here it's a lot of cuts somebody could be drinking way too much they hang around people that drink it's like somebody here just got to be the center of attention and maybe that's just it's time out for that yeah again aries energy with the full card but i feel like a lot of y'all just like fuck it yolo yeah, I love this person, woo, 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 but I'm going to pack everything I got in this little ass bag and I'm going to grab what I know is for me and I'm leaving. I feel like you're starting to choose yourself over whomever or whatever this is, fam. Yeah, Queen of Wands and then the uh, Knight of Pentacles. It might have taken you a long time to step into this energy, but I don't feel like you're stepping out anytime soon. A lot of y'all will start isolating because it's like your energy, your peace is more important. Yeah. Justice card, Libra energy. A lot of y'all are just wanting to balance now. Yeah, damn. And the star card, Aquarius energy. It's just like you'd rather be by yourself than in the company of these toxic ass people. It took a while for you to come to that realization. But boom, when you did, look. Ace of Wands in the full card. I'm out of there and I ain't going back. 1808. Mm -hmm. Damn. This card's just going everywhere, y'all. We're not going to take any of these because I don't know what position they fell out in. Okay, let's keep going. Yeah, but I feel like it's just, you're done. Exactly. Eight of Cups again. You're walking away. Yeah, I feel like somebody's walking away from a very toxic, burdensome situation that they tried to put work into, but it just got too overwhelming because somebody was always on the same shit time and time again. Yeah, very defensive in the communication, just, I'm hearing evasive. So somebody here, they were being stubborn as hell. Yeah, judgment. Holy Spirit, why is the judgment card here? Yeah, look, Ten of Swords, I'm telling you, this person made a really bad decision in doing whatever it is that they did, and now they regret it. Look at this. Two of Cups and then the Ten of Swords. Somebody here ruined a very good thing by being, I'm hearing, overzealous, materialistic, egotistical. This person pretty much felt like they were God's gift. And they end up screwing themselves in the end. Not only are they going to lose money, but they losing you too. So I don't know if this is like you were a breadwinner type or I don't know. But most most importantly, this person is losing you. And yeah, whatever this petty ass argument is that y'all had, they want to resolve it. They want to come back. But they keep looking over their shoulder. Why are they looking over their shoulder? 
Oh, is there anyone in the situation? Yeah, they want to talk eight of ones. Some of y'all could even have this person blocked from your social media with the um. I don't know why I'm looking at this. It's like a, a block, like a it's like something coming between. But some of y'all could have like them blocked on social media or something like that. Or you just don't want to talk to this person. It's like a return to sender thing going on here too. Yeah, somebody here if your I feel like somebody's health or something is something's going on. So somebody's doing return to sender spells. So that could be another thing that's getting you out of this energy with this person. So this person could have possibly tried to do something to you. Yeah, to affect your confidence, your inner strength. But y'all, possibly some of y'all got a message coming in from a Leo. Yeah, somebody here want to send you some type of love message. You have the world card. This is somebody you close out a cycle with, but they want something else to start up here with this ace of wands. Somebody here admires your strength. Somebody here, your business ethic, they admire that too. Something here is about a business. I don't know if it wasn't doing so well, but you didn't give up. And so you're catching the attention. I'm hearing national attention of something or someone. Hmm. Yeah, the sun card is in the reverse. Oh my goodness. Yeah, look. I don't know if you're not responding to somebody's messages or whatever, but this is making this person feel very, very low. Very, un It's like it's messing with their self-esteem and their confidence. Because like I said, this is a person who was working out of ego. Yeah, I'm feeling like y'all cut them off. Some of y'all are definitely waiting on somebody else or something else or something like that. Yeah, because you don't you don't you don't run out of patience with this person. The temper is in the reverse. Could be a Sagittarius. Leo Sagittarius. Somebody done ran out of patience with somebody. I don't know if somebody you been you was trying to, you know, talk to this person, trying to resolve this issue or whatever. And this person again in their ego don't want to talk, you know, giving people the silent treatment, whatever. But I feel like they their time is up. It's over. This is also making somebody <clears throat> very upset. I'm hearing hot-headed. Knight of Swords, Sun in Reverse, and a Temperance in Reverse. Somebody's getting very, very much so upset with y'all. You can't make it up, Queen of Swords, because you cut their ass off. Yeah. This is somebody y'all possibly got a family with. Exactly. You could have even been married to this person, living with them, whatever. But somebody here is in their feelings. They kind of upset. The bright note is somebody here is they not drinking as much. But it's like whatever this situation is, it's making them want to go back to drinking. Yeah, the high priestess. Do y'all know that somebody here don't even understand why y'all closing out this cycle with them? They do not understand. Ten of Pentacles and the Four of Cups. Oh, it's another one up here. Ten of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, and the Four of Cups. Yeah, somebody here, I hear confused. But yeah, this got something to do with money. Somebody tried to confuse y'all about money or something like that. So possibly with the judgment, y'all found out. Some of y'all, some type of judgment is going in your favor as well. Y'all got somebody out here that's trying to telepathically communicate with y'all too. This person trying to get in your head to see you some, some type of message or, yeah, a page of pinnacles. Yeah, don't be surprised if this person that y'all into it with come try to hand y'all some money to make this shit all better as well. So I don't know if this person owe you some money or what, but somebody here gonna come try to hand y'all some money to try to make this whole situation disappear. Holy Spirit, you know Situation, please. Somebody definitely wants to apologize and try to balance out and heal this situation. This person, look, I don't know who this person is, but they love you. Two of Cups, whomever this is, they feel like you're their soulmate, or this is how you feel about this person, and maybe that's why it was so hard for you to walk away from them. But baby, once your energy uh, changed, this person's didn't. Their energy didn't change. Yeah, look, you stepped into Empress, and then they. They were still lying. Some of these people even lied about being on a spiritual journey or something like that. Something about their energy is a it's a lie. And you can feel it. Some of y'all can feel this person's energy. 
And y'all know that this person lied to y'all about a third party. Some of y'all know it without a shadow of a doubt. Y'all know that this person started working with other people, gossiping, talking about y'all, things like that, being very, very manipulative. Yes, this is somebody you could have a family with or this is somebody in your family. And that's the truth. You gain truth and clarity about this person. Yes. Let that shit go. Relax your mind. Take it easy. You good. Cut these people out. Block them. Because they ain't do nothing but bring conflict, chaos, confusion, and everything to you. Emotionally. Leave this shit alone. Because it don't mean you no good. Wait for something else. Some of y'all could possibly meet somebody y'all work with. Don't have to, though. But continue to put the work in on yourself, fam. So you don't have to go back into a situation with these type of people. Nine of Swords energy that's going to leave you in your head. Somebody here got fear of abandonment. That's one of the issues you need to work on within yourself. If you need uh, canceling or something, ain't nothing wrong with that. All you have to do is reach out. And it's going to be provided for you. Point blank, period. But yeah, I feel like a lot of y'all are deciding to let go of this toxic situation. And it is the best thing that y'all could ever do, fam. But that's been the message. If it resonated, my loves, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell as well for your girl. Do me that solid. All right, y'all. I hope y'all enjoy the rest of y'all day. And we will definitely get back up.